What's up guys, it's Frankie here and we're going to be talking about seven figure agency habits in this video. And habits are one of those little things that seem like they're tiny, tiny, tiny um, little changes but actually ultimately you will become the product of the habits that you practice and create every day. So let's get into it. be just a little short morning video I'm walking over for a mastermind call my internet is down again for the second time oh the joys of living in uh, Baja California and um, I just finished reading a book called atomic habits actually I should say I listened on audible for those of you guys who haven't listened it's definitely worth listening to and I'll tell you one of the big takeaways whenever I read a book by the way I look for at least one big idea I can implement and the big idea for me, for me in this one was engineering your environment so that the habits you want to create become automatic. So I'll tell you a couple of ways that I was doing this. I'll tell you one of the areas I was most slacking in my life was exercise. Like, I like to exercise, but I don't know. I have a million things going on in a day with two babies and... Uh, and a couple of businesses and those kind of things and so I just forget and so one of the things it said is engineer your environment so that you can't miss those things so I'll tell you what I did for a couple of those things one of those is I noticed that whenever I'd get really hungry I'd go in the fridge and I'd eat something unhealthy but I noticed our fridge was designed in such a way so that all the unhealthy things were front and center and the healthy things and the crisper and all that were hidden and we also have like a fruit bowl we keep so I made it so on the way to the fridge I gotta pass the fruit bowl I put it on our little kind of like islandy thing and that means that now I have to see the fruit before anything else and also we've got like one of those home gyms like like a Bowflex kind of thing in the garage and garage is kind of out of sight out of mind so I haven't been using it at least not with the regularity I want to use it. So what I did is I put my phone charging station right next to it in the garage. So whenever I want to go charge my phone, I've got to put it in the home gym. And uh, I think it's kind of a little bit evil genius. It makes me feel like Hank Scorpio. <laughs> Good old Hank Scorpio. So I'll tell you the, the, the single biggest habit that you got to get into the practice of if you want to have a seven-figure agency is get in the practice of making offers with regularity both to employer or to like people you want to get contracts with but also with top level employees start making job offers to people for team members who can help you and even if you by the way are starting out and have zero cash because I know some of you guys are I know a lot of you guys are like kicking ass and all that and taking names but Cash flow is not a reason to say no. There's almost always a deal that can be made. Like for example, I remember when I was first getting started in business, there was a, a company, a charity, and they needed help setting up their IT stuff. So I got a buddy of mine to do it. And they uh, gave me free office space for a year in their place. Hola. Yeah. Um, so this is one of those things. Like you don't have to wait till you got a bunch of cash in hand to to have an office, you can trade services, you can barter, you can make deals, but those things only happen if you make offers. If you say, hey, I'll fix your IT problem, if you can give me office space, right? So you wanna be really, really clear about those things. And when you get into the practice of making offers, good things will happen for you. So I know it's probably not the most exciting video, but it is the fundamentals that make the shit happen. So I'm gonna go get to work here and. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and may the force be with you.